Hello everyone and welcome back to Force Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We have completed the mainline missions, the primary missions in Mission Control, and we only have secondary missions, but we have a whole lot of secondary missions, and we certainly have not completed the tech tree. Uh, there are plenty of very expensive technologies that we have not unlocked, and I guess now we're going to try to get the science to unlock them, but the best way of getting science is actually to fulfill the missions, so... We do have to plant a flag on Paul, even though it says that it has that completed. We never actually did that, so that's a little bit suspicious. Driving a rover. I just visited Elu, uh, granted on the flyby, but we're not going to do that immediately. Plant a flag in the Eye of Drez. Uh, I like to poke an Eye of Drez, but anyway. Um, obtain a sample report of the strange creature on Leith. It's not that lucrative, but... It's interesting, and I guess a sample report requires sending a Kerbal in. And what I want to do is actually send a space plane. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's it's a horrible thing to do, but uh, we haven't done anything with planes so far. I have done a big rocket, we did the Saturn V-ish thing, though we could make a better Saturn V now if we wanted to use the XL Mephalox tanks that we've unlocked. But let's just go ahead and finally get all the plane things that we have not unlocked. And this will give me an excuse to unlock them. Uh, I won't get the stuff that is otherwise not necessary, though the rover... The, there are rover missions and maybe we'll want those, but we'll wait till we do that. Uh, so, jumbo jets fine airliners of course it's only paying me 2400 science so um i'm spending more science than i'm expecting to get out of this business okay so that's the best we can do i think and i don't think any of this other stuff is relevant for lathe and now we have to worry about heat tolerance right so this is the first time i'm going to be making planes where heat tolerance is going to be an issue in KSP-2. So, yeah. That is going to be interesting. At least there's no budget. <laughs> Space planes, though. Um, is there a reason for us to use the heavy wings and heavy stabilizers instead of uh, the lesser wings? Well, that has less heat tolerance. Well, not the wing, that's all moving heat, uh, all moving heat tolerance, no. All moving uh, control surface, and then there's the medium wing. So the medium wings have 1,250 Kelvin, and the heavy wing has 1,500. But the heavy wing is really, really heavy. And its mass doesn't scale. The light ones only have 1,000. But maybe we can do with 1,250 instead. Now we also have the swerve, finally. So, yeah, let's just go for the shuttle cockpit. Looking a bit like a skunk with the Saturn's white and black motif. I think there's a adapter between the Mark III parts and that form factor. Let me see. Well, it doesn't seem like it. Well, let me just uh, type in Mark III here. Rarely use the search function, but... Yeah, it looks like they've excluded the Mark III to 3.75 meter adapter. Well, that's a bit sad. We don't need a cargo bay. We just need to land a Kerbal on the surface. So this doesn't need to be a cargo ship. It does need to land at a fairly low velocity. Now... As far as the heat stuff goes, how are these hydrogen tanks? Ooh, 850. Well, that's gotta be a problem, isn't it? Maybe if we line the bottom with... wing pieces? No! Do what you said you were gonna do. <laughs> Have just the bottom covered? I don't know if that'll protect the hydrogen tanks. Okay, what about the heat tolerance of the engine? The swerve. Well, it's got 1,500. 
Okay, where is the center of mass and center of pressure? Uh, okay, well, that's not too bad, considering I'm gonna put another wing piece out here and bring the center of lift back. That's basically where we wanted it. Now, the balance, we've got the swerve in the tail. We would like that balance with something in the nose. I mean, the cockpit is there, but the cockpit is not quite heavy enough. That's 10 tons in the back. And so the goal would be so that the center of mass doesn't change as the fuel drains. So the cockpit is 5.275. And then the nose cone... Well, that's not the most convenient. So 5.325, let's say. And so we need 4.675 more. Now, perhaps we should test fly this with a control core. So we can get some extra mass carrying that. Not that we want that, but, you know. Well, we're going to have it probe. I guess we don't have the big control cores. Hmm. Oh, they, they think that that's for deep space probes? I mean, it's more for big rockets, but I guess... I mean, it's not the most efficient thing to have. Well, I probably want them for other things anyway. Okay. But what kind of heat tolerance do they have? 800, 800, 800. Well, that's tough. They're probably going to overheat if I put one on. I guess we're just going to have to test the crude. <laughs> See, it's forcing me to test the crude because they don't have enough heat tolerance. I think the best thing to do to counterbalance it is probably to put the jet engines on, but put it on the nose like I've done for the jump jet. Now, if we do that, well, 1000 Kelvin for the heat tolerance on the adjustable ramp intake. One that, uh, so we probably want the shock cone because it has more heat tolerance. We will be torching our wing with the engine thrust. Okay, well, 6,000 meters per second with the, the swerve. And what kind of TWR does it have at the surface of lathe? We have a lot of TWR with it, it seems. Okay, well, let's put the landing gear first before I make any further decisions. Lighter is better. Do I want to? Oh, gosh. Uh, do I want to attach them to the wing pieces, though? Hmm. Okay, well, it's not that heavy because it's all hydrogen. Actually, the large landing gear isn't that much heavier. It's not like in Realism Overhaul where it's like many times heavier. Uh, the thing is, if you clip them through the wings, I think that's when they get busted. So maybe we shouldn't do that, and we should just have the small ones. Don't do them. Okay. But then we won't be able to rotate very much. What's the heat tolerance on these? 1,200. I had named it Leif Shuttle and saved it already. But what, when I did undo, it went back to fly safe. Okay, uh, let's just try and test fly this. Those control surfaces look too weird. Okay, now let's uh, recover vessel. Hold on. Uh, we'll revert this. We'll just say revert. I might need to put a canard too. The center of lift is pretty far from the center mass still. I mean, the problem with this white color is I can barely see the control surface. Length point... Length zero still has some. But does it have much effect? I don't know. Well, that's a stable. The stabilizer is light. We should just use stabilizers. But I want to use the medium-sized ones because they have better heat tolerance. Probably we want as much pitch as possible. Can't have enough pitch control. But no roll on that one. No roll on that one. And definitely no roll on this one. 
Okay, can we get off the ground with the two jet engines? Let's see. Will they torch our wing? That would be really good thermal effects right there. There's science. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. <laughs> Total lies. Tim C apparently is our test pilot. Okay, off the ground at about 85 meters per second. Again, the jet engines are in front to counterbalance the swerve in the back. It's still not a perfect balance. Probably we would need some power generation. Probably a docking port would be a good idea too. Lathe has a breathable atmosphere, so that's why making a jet... Is, and of course, it has an atmosphere so you can use the wing. So that makes a jet viable. The downside is the heat. A jet cannot have a heat shield per se. So now with the thermal system, how is it going to treat our SSTOs and such? But we've already used half of our fuel. We need to reserve that for later. So we probably need more methane. But it is promising though, accelerating past the speed of sound like this. I'm gonna tentatively say that we don't need the monopropellant. I think maybe for Ascent we'll just have uh, drop tanks for the methane so that we can just reserve this fuel for late. Okay, we're topping out here. Let's engage the swerve. Uh, very swervy. Oh, okay. I guess I can't let go of the S key entirely. Uh, we can probably flatten out more. So we'll need, let's say, 2,200 to get to Jewel. And let's say we capture manually so that we don't bear the heat of lathe because we don't have, you know, a proper heat shield, heat shield. So we'll need 3,000, let's say, all together. And then we'll use lathe's atmosphere to land. Oh, okay, maybe I need some additional reaction wheel or something. And then we have to ascend using the jet engine, so we won't count that. But then we probably need another thousand to get into orbit with the swerve. So that's four thousand, and then maybe two thousand to get back, so six thousand. Well, so, hmm. We're close. Depends how well we do everything. Maybe fitting in another hydrogen tank, one of the smaller ones in between, would be a good idea. I don't think the swerve is pushed as far as its thrust to weight ratio is concerned. So we're going to do a re entry test and see how it deals, whoops, deals with the thermal system. Okay, well, um, basically that's the angle that we want to deorbit with, so right around the terminator is where we're going to bring it down. And we'll go with 23 kilometers, I think. If we fall short, either way, we've got a lot of Delta V to get us back to the Space Center. It's not the problem here. Ah, uh, SAS, how wonderful you are. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Keep trying. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm curious now to see if we can get there at all. Maybe after... I, I thought the reaction wheel in the Mark III cockpit would be strong enough. To, for SAS to be decisive, but... Well, anyway, I've had enough of this, so we need to go down now. It was definitely got to overshoot again. Okay, 33. Oh, sorry, 23. 23. No, well, it looks like we're overshooting, though. Oh, I'm letting it pitch up more. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, we lost the wings. That's why we weren't slowing down much. When did that... Why, why was I not informed by some loud sound that we lost the wings? Guys, we lost the wings. The wings have higher heat tolerance than the than the fuel tanks. They're still very visibly there. I think they just broke off. Okay, well. We're also not slowing down much. Do the Kerbals have parachutes? They do, right? Hopefully. Parachute packs? Yes? No? We could still try flying, though I think we lost the wheels. I wonder how it takes belly landings. Should we try flying or should we try... Landing on our tail. I need to have something control roll now. Okay, well, I think we bear off trying to land on our tail. I feel like we don't have roll control, per se. Still don't have roll control. Uh... Oh! We have discovered submarines! And it's a dolphin. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming, because I didn't. Okay, but we have other problems. Uh, the whole wing ripping off issue is a problem. I don't actually know those little things that were sort of off in the distance. Were those the wings or the landing gear that were floating away? So I don't know that either. Uh, the fact that it's like Jello <laughs> is a whole other business. Uh, Kerbin's oceans are made out of Jello. Yes. Okay, recovering vessel. We have not killed him yet. So I guess we just strut the wings. The, the wings will be the first thing that ever fell off of the plane uh, of anything so far. I don't know whether they overheated or fell off. It could be that the landing gear was what was floating away. Anyway, we have other things to fix about this, too. I was thinking about putting an extra tank in. The larger landing gear would probably be safer in general. So when we tilt up, it'll be safer. Just in case, for rescue purposes, docking port. Let's have it have ears. Okay, we have ears. Maybe we should have wingtip drop tanks. And these will have a higher priority. Oh, we can't set priority? Well, apparently I can't set fuel priority, so... Oh well. I think a ladder would be good. Now hopefully they can hop on there. Sample report of the strange creature. So we have to find this screen, uh, strange creature. Well, let me get to a jewel window.
But I think we should do another test of this before sending it all the way out to Jewel. Okay, that's probably good enough for Jewel. But, yes, struts. We'll put struts on and do another low carbon orbit test. 1,600 Kelvin for the struts, so that's good. Okay, let's see if all that works out for us. Can the jet still get us past Mach 1 with the extra fuel? That is my current question. It's Tim again. Bouncy, bouncy. Up we go. Okay, so these two... Oh, no, no. Go away. What? Oh no! They're multiplying! I hate this this resource, man, resource manager. It always sucks. Okay, meanwhile, I'm almost stalling there. Oh, now it's got all of them. Now we've got nine methane tanks according to it. No, it's, it's increasing the number of them! It's not actually increasing our fuel, mind you, but now it's got 26 of them. Well, we are not accelerating the way we were before I added the extra fuel. So that's worrisome. But we'll see. Let's we'll fizz warp a while. Oh no, it's going down. Don't, don't, do, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, creeping up on the speed of sound here. Gotta rebalance the fuels now. Be easier to get past the speed of sound without the edge tanks. I, I just want to. Okay, those are the ones full of fuel. Alright, we're gonna drop the edge tanks. Wingtip tanks. Gonna try and drop down a bit to pass through transonic. Uh, that's not doing great. Well, we'll get to orbit and I think I want more jet power somehow. Or we might just want to lighten it back up again. So, I'm just gonna force the issue. Time for orbit. Oh, I did want an additional reaction wheel, I thought. But, the main question is whether the wings are going to survive re-entry this time. Okay, well, a little bit more. Okay. We'll coast up. Well, something is overheating. Uh-oh, that's the wings. Yeah, the wings overheat too easily. It, that one just went poof. On um, ascent. Okay, um, I'm gonna consider that a bug. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to revert this one. I'm going like, no, no, I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's practically in space. We could launch in on a separate launcher and hope that lathe atmosphere isn't so brutal. I mean, especially since we're going to get into orbit first. So we could have a... We could launch it shuttle-like, vertically. And then send it over there. 